Hey guys, Zach Sports Gaming here, and today we have another episode of my Kansas Online Dynasty here in NCAA Football 14. And today we have a tough task against the number 10 Oklahoma uh, Sooners. And yeah, so definitely we do want to get the upset today, although it's going to be a very difficult task as they're a great team. Long history, 44 conference championships and seven national championships. So, yeah, pretty much we did get a win yesterday. I mean, not yesterday, last week. It was against TCU. But these next two games are going to be even tougher than TCU as we play Oklahoma and Baylor, both top 10 teams currently as we definitely do want to try to get the win today as they have a great quarterback in Trevor Knight and they are looking to come into our home stadium and beat us but we cannot let that happen so we're almost ready to get into this game but not yet as pretty much we're going to take a look at these offensive ranks uh we are 58th in pass offense 126 in rush offense so we're not doing very well um we are 59th in pass touchdowns, 72nd rushing touchdowns, so we don't have the best offense, but it is actually getting the job done. So, yeah, pretty much as we are 4-1, and one, the offense is clearly being made up for by the defense. So, that's a good thing as outcomes Trevor Knight. Last game he had a bad game. Well, he had a bad game completion-wise, 17 for 42, 179 yards, and three touchdowns. So on this first play, he's going to find his receiver over the middle. Now he's going to throw once again. He's looking. He lobs it, and it is almost intercepted. But it is caught by Jordan Smallwood for the six-yard gain. Now third and eight. Knight looking to throw. He is going to throw over the middle, and it's going to be intercepted by Davis. And it is going. To, that is his first pick of the day. And yeah, there's more. Just, just wait as we do nothing with that. They're back on offense. Trevor Knight looking to throw. He is sacked. Going down. Take a seat. And it will be now third and 22. Trevor Knight. He's going to throw. He's just going to lob it up deep. And it's picked off again by Sendish. And Sendish is going to get a return. He is going to get up to about maybe the 30. So now we are throwing. And we throw our own interception. Montel Cozart is picked off by Thomas. So three inter three turnovers in the first quarter so far. We'll see if they can actually do anything with their offense, but no. Another interception picked off by Heaney. So is any team going to get any type of offense going? That is the question. As uh, right there we just hand it off because I'm so tired of getting these interceptions. Get a seven-yard game. But now we have to throw it on third and three. Rolling out, fires, and he finds Pearson. Tony Pearson is actually on our team, so that is not an interception right there. Nice job. Now Cozart running play action. Finds McKay, McKay over the middle to end the first quarter, and we are finally driving, and looks like we might actually score. As on second and five, we find King right there. Nigel King gets a gain of 10 to make it first and goal. Now it's second and goal. Play action, looking, and we are sacked. We fumble the ball, and it is picked up as Montel Cozart almost gave it away right there. And we could have lost it. So third and goal. I don't know what to do. So I try to throw some kind of fade route. But it totally fails. And we will lose 11 yards right there on the sack. So fourth and goal from the 31 yard line. And we're going to kick the field goal. And it's up and it is good. I almost missed the field goal. I'm not very good at them. And uh, yeah. So now Montel Cozart throwing some more. And yeah we're back on offense. He finds Tony Pearson. And yeah, so now Cozart, he's going to hand off DeAndre Mann. He is a man to beat, and he cannot get him as he gets him on the shoelace tackle, and he will only get a gain of nine. So now Cozart looking to throw. He throws, and he it is caught by Nick Harwell, the main receiver, even though that is his first catch today. One reception for 20 yards. Now Cozart looking to throw. He finds Pearson in the end zone. Tony Pearson, and Kansas has taken a 10 to nothing lead over the Sooners. It looks like we'll be going into halftime, but we have nine seconds left. Trevor Knight's going to look to make something happen. He finds a wide open man. It's Shepard, and they are going to have to try, or I think they called timeout, actually. I didn't see if they did. I didn't know if they had any more. Clearly, they did, and the kick from 
Oklahoma's kicker is up and good, so they will draw within a touchdown at the half. But overall, I'd say we pretty much dominated the first half. I think there were four turnovers total, almost five turnovers total in the first half. But yeah, so only four turnovers, and you take a look at the yards. We have done a terrible job on rush offense. We had negative two rush yards. I think it's just because I've been sacked so much. And uh, yeah, pretty much the thing that's keeping us in the game is the turnovers. It could be 21 to nothing. It could be 21 nothing right now if we had capitalized off all the turnovers and they didn't capitalize off ours, but we didn't. So that will take us to the third quarter. So Trevor Knight comes out on offense, 2.46 to go. He's going to run up the middle and he's going to get hit hard after gain of eight yards right there. Now in the gun he's gonna run a read option he has open field he uh follow a block he will follow a block and get a 13 yard rush right there nice job by trevor knight so first and 10 knight he's gonna fire and he finds neil and duran neil is gonna get a first down move those change chains now it's second and 10 thomas looking or not thomas knight looking fine sterling shepherd for the 15 yard reception right there now, oh wait, it is Thomas. Uh, I don't know why he's in. I guess Trevor Knight got injured. He finds Woods. Woods breaks a tackle. Woods is in the end zone, and the game is tied. Cody Thomas, yes, has come in for Trevor Knight as Trevor Knight's injured, apparently, or maybe just got taken out of the game after throwing three interceptions. So it's all tied up at 10 as we're going to try to move the ball. Now finding McKay right there. Nice job by us up to the 38. Cozart looking to throw finds it's Jim A. Mundine for the 16 yard reception and we are in enemy territory first and 10 play action for Cozart he is looking he's gonna roll out he has a blocker that's what I like to do sometimes Cozart's actually a pretty good scrambler he's not the best thrower but he's a pretty good scrambler and so I like to do that with him a lot and we will settle for this field goal to take a 13 to 10 lead right here if as that kick is up and good and we have another lead of the game. Oklahoma's not had the lead yet, but Trevor Knight's back in. Hand off to Ford up the middle. He is going to get a nice gain of uh, maybe 20 yards. And it is now second and five. They're almost in Kansas territory. Hand off the middle of Ford in Kansas territory. He has a first down and more. And he's going to get 11 yards right there. Move those chains. Three and a half to go. Hand off up the middle. It's Ford. Once again, if he's not going to, I mean, if we can't contain him, then why wouldn't you Why wouldn't you hand off to him? And so now they're going to actually throw fine small wood right there for the 14-yard reception. Now Knight looking to throw once again. He lobs it to the corner or to the end zone, and it's caught. Touchdown, Oklahoma, and they take a 16-13 lead. And Trevor Knight has finally a first touchdown pass of the day to take a 17-13 lead. So now, we are back on offense. Montel Cozart, he's looking to throw. He tries to set up a screen, but he throws his second interception, and it's intercepted by Wilson. So there's been a total of five turnovers today. Two from Kansas, and three from Oklahoma. And this game has been an extremely sloppy game, but Oklahoma will get a chance to take a two-score lead as they hand off of the middle of the four on third five he's gonna get it he has room he is in the end zone touchdown Keith Ford and Oklahoma is going to take a lead and that is going to put them up by 11 and we cannot come back so we lose 24 13 this is not the way I wanted to play this game we didn't uh, capitalize off turnovers and that's why we lost we lost because we couldn't take an early lead and capitalize it could have been Let's see, we got 10 points off turnovers. We could have had 21. So it could have been 24-24. If we had one less turnover, we would have won the game. So we, there are things that we obviously need to work on. We need to work on turning turnovers into scores. And we need to work on not turning the ball over as much if we want to beat good teams like this, especially if we want to beat Baylor next week. So that is going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, subscribe to HMS Game Face Studios. Subscribe to me. Subscribe to you. It's too easy. Subscribe to Legit Gamer 3244. Subscribe to Pinhead Pierre. And subscribe to Husky Nation TV.
thank you guys for watching. Oh, remember to like, remember to comment, and remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.